I've got a friend who has one of those jobs where occasionally you have to take phone calls from people who bitch at you for things that you have nothing to do with. And for our younger listeners, by the way, phone calls are like real-time voice-activated audio texts. Anyway, so the other day I ran into him and he was dying to tell me about one such conversation. Some dude had called to complain about some policy that was set by a guy in another country. So while he's bitching, my buddy explains to him that he doesn't actually set the company's policies and has no control over them. To which his animated caller goes all prematurely Godwin and tells him that makes him no different than the guards at them their concentration camps. Exhibiting a nearly Herculean amount of patience, my friend calmly asked the guy to dial back his rhetoric a bit, and then the jerk tosses out a response so indefensibly stupid I had to write a diatribe about it. He said, you'll have to forgive me, I'm a pastor. I'm used to fighting for the weak. (laughs) Now, I don't want to bog this down with boring details of the policy the guy was complaining about, so suffice to say that him bitching about it had about as little to do with fighting for the weak as being a pastor does, so I can only imagine the befuddled silence and stifled laughter that this assertion actually provoked. My first thought upon hearing it was, fight for the weak, eh, so you guys are paying taxes now? Because every time I earn a dollar, a chunk of it goes to the week. Every time I pay my property taxes, they go to the week. How about you? Who pays your tax-free salary again? The week. Got it. But that's far from being the most ludicrous delusion in that sentence. This person is actually invoking a career and taking advantage of people, deluding people, indoctrinating children, fighting against reality, opposing social progress, and believing in fairy tales. And for this, he thinks he's entitled to some level of respect. I'm not just stupid. I majored in stupid. I have an advanced degree in stupid. I've devoted my life to stupid. And yet somehow I'm still not impressed. I'd be more impressed if you had a master's degree in My Little Ponies, because My Little Ponies are actually pretty awesome. But brony or no, I can guarantee you, you're going to find more morality in those cartoons than you'll find in the Bible. The fucking Bible? It's the most horrible book on earth to pretend that thing's moral. You have to pick cherries like a Muslim martyr. Just go get your Bible. Open it to a random page. Read a random passage. I'm willing to bet the vast majority of my penis that you didn't find anything moral there. Hell, you're lucky if you found something morally ambiguous. You follow the Bible, do you? Well, how many Amalekites have you killed this month? How many bulls have you sacrificed at the altar? How many armed Jewish land conquests have you participated in this year? Because that's what the fucking book's about. I'm reading the damn thing. You can't fool me into thinking this is a book about morals. It's like if I finally got around to reading the Harry Potter books only to discover that there weren't any wizards in them. I'm a pastor. And for that, you deserve some kind of deference? You know, given the fact that we're going to be leading off headlines this week with a story about a pastor raping children for the third week in a row, I don't know how the fuck you try to attach that profession with morality. You know, if the guy said, you'll have to forgive me, I'm a pastor, I'm used to sexually abusing the weak, I'd simply have applauded him for his honesty. And you know what? Maybe this dude does fight for the weak. Maybe he's out there right now with his metaphorical boxing gloves on, kicking the shit out of hunger and homelessness at this very moment. But if he is, it isn't because he's a fucking pastor, it's because he's a moral person. The CEO for Panera Bread fights for the weak too, but I bet he wouldn't excuse his assholery on the phone by saying, you'll have to forgive me, I'm a CEO, I'm used to fighting for the weak. You know, the very fact that such a thing as a degree in theology exists is an insult to education. Think about it. We'd be pretty fucked if we woke up tomorrow and all the world's surgeons were gone, or all the world's physicists, or all the world's firefighters, or teachers, or plumbers, or carpenters, or jizz moppers, or truck drivers, or pharmacists, and we'd be at least horribly inconvenienced if we woke up tomorrow and there were no more podcasters, jugglers, musicians, or masked vigilantes. But what would happen if we lost all the theologists? Gee, where would we get our nothing? If all the world's pastors were abducted by aliens tomorrow, who would molest our children? Who would fleece our uneducated? Who would terrify our nieces and nephews? Who would hate our fags? Yeah, you're a pastor. You want to impress me? Try getting a real job. Here, I've got an idea. How about one where you have to take phone calls from assholes like you?